light of the world You step down into darkness Opened my eyes, let me see Beauty that made this heart adore you Hope of a life spent with you Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down Here I am to say that you're my God You're all together lovely, all together worthy All together wonderful to me King of all days, oh so highly exalted Glorious in heaven above Humbly you came to the earth you created All full of sake became poor Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down Here I am to say that you're my God You're all together lovely All together worthy All together wonderful to me Hello friends, I hope you are keeping good. For today's topic, I have something interesting for you. The word called God. I am sure that we cannot understand the mystery of God, but quickly on a piece of paper, write down all the images that come to your mind regarding God. I give you 10 seconds. Let me count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's all. Whatever I return are the right answers. Just imagine you get a chance to interview God. What kind of questions are you going to ask Him? Let me help you. Write down the three things that you are happy about right now in your life. Quickly, tell me just a few points. Next question. What are the three things for which you are grateful to me, to God, right now in your life? It can be your parents, your studies, your works, all that you want to write. Next question. What are your honest fears and anxieties when you think of your future? Write down maybe one or two. Okay. God is asking you, next question. Are you facing some serious problems? in your li life right now? Tell me about it. Just pen down maybe one problem. Let's change the role. Now you are asking God some questions. What is that you want God to do for you? Second, what is that block that keeps you away from God? Finally, God is asking you another question. I have blessed you with so many talents. Can you name some talents which you do not use? Well, that's enough for the interview. Now let's do something more interesting. Imagine you have a friend and his name is Sachin. Sachin is a married man and he has a small family. One fine day, Sachin discovers that his wife has a cancer. Being a good husband, he takes care of his wife the best. He gives the best treatment. After the surgery, chemotherapy, doctors give a positive result. They advise him that she is out of danger, but she needs to be at car. And just another two months, his wife passes away. 
you know what could be the next situation definitely sachin was away from god he did not want to hear anything about god because he was left with a small baby in this moment if you happen to meet sachin what would be your advice to sachin you can share with your friends you can write down or you can definitely put in the comments it's good to see that you are thinking about it but i'm sure that none of us have answer for this question of sachin we might answer to sachin's question but definitely if it happens to us in our own life we cannot answer this let me give you another situation i'm sure that you have seen the movie oh my god yes the same one of lalchi kanchi mehta where he stop is strike down by god and it is known as the act of god now can you put a case on god for this kinds of acts the volcanoes the cyclones the tornadoes or maybe the tsunami no matter how much you try you cannot put a case on god for this kinds of act or you cannot get any benefits from the government too because nobody wants to get involved in the case of god well then how can you fight against god can you scratch your brain for a little while well well you might not find any answer for this because there is nothing that we can do to put a case against god although there is a movie is on the same title the god in dark outcome is simple god is such a thing that no no matter how much you try to understand it will always remain a mystery for us one day saint augustine was walking on a beach trying to solve the mystery of god when he was walking meditating on this mystery he found a small boy trying to empty entire ocean into a small hole saint augustine walks to him and asking this question what are you doing are you trying to empty this ocean into a tiny hole the boy says yes what about you are you trying to understand the mystery of god in a tiny brain well saint augustine understood the message very clearly he never tried again this experience or this exercise on himself well my dear friends none of us can understand the mystery of god it is a personal relationship that we build but for us christians we have seen jesus christ we know him personally Jesus Christ gives us the identity of God what God is he tells us that God is our father abba father and we are his children Jesus is our brother and son he is our best friend we don't require more proofs we don't require a case to put on God because it is heart to heart relationship as you grow ahead make sure that you have a strong relationship with God because he loves you and we must love him equally We shall all the best have a good day Hello again I hope you had a wonderful week but now once again it's time to learn about a new saint so welcome back to let's saint a story here we are at the gates of heaven So if you recall right here we have Saint Romero here we have Saint Francis of Assisi here we have Saint Therese of Lisieux right at the center we have Saint John Bosco here we have Saint Padre Pio here we have Saint Augustine of Hippo here is Saint Ignatius of Loyola and towards the extreme right we have Saint Teresa of Calcutta If you are not able to recall the stories of any of these saints, you can always go back and watch the videos to learn about the stories again. It is always good to be prepared and know the stories of each of these saints so that you can better relate the stories of the saints that you learn in the future. And if you were to tell the story to someone else, you can always recall and it could be at the tips of your fingers so once again if you do not recall these stories you can always go back and see the videos again to learn about the same once again so coming to today if you were able to figure out 
the saint in that activity called who is that saint last week congratulations if you weren't able to figure out who the saint is for this week then you can learn about the saint today so let's go ahead and let's meet the saint so once again let me reiterate Imagine you're meeting the saint at a hotel or a nearby park. So you want to make a new friend. You want to get to know the saint. So you ask a few questions. The saint replies. Thus, you make a friend because you learn more about the saint and you know the saint on a more personal level. So you make a friend. So let's begin our conversation with the saint. Casual encounter. This is the person you see in front of you. He is a small boy. He doesn't seem as old as the saints in the previous pictures or the previous encounters. So there's something very special about this person. He's young, vibrant, youthful. So let's learn more about him. So you start off by saying, Hey, it's so nice to meet you. May I know your name? To which the saint replies, Hello, my name is Dominic Savio, but you can call me Savio if you want. Tell me about your childhood, Savio. Well, I was born on the 2nd of April 1842 in Chiari, Italy to Carlo and Brigitta Savio. My family was very devout and pious. My parents had 10 children. My father was a blacksmith and my mother was a seamstress. Even as a small child, I used to say grace before every meal and I refused to eat with those who did not. I always used to encourage others to pray. I used to visit church regularly. Even if the church was closed, I used to kneel and pray outside, be it in the snow or mud. In school, I was recognized as an exceptional student who studied hard and performed well. I became an altar server. I attended daily mass and went for confessions regularly. I received my first Holy Communion at the age of seven. That day was the happiest day of my life. On the day I received my first Holy Communion, I wrote four promises in the book. Those promises were, I will go to confessions often and as frequently to Holy Communion as my confessor allows. I wish to sanctify the Sundays and festivals in a special manner. My friends shall be Jesus and Mary, death rather than sin. That's quite interesting, Savio. Tell me more. Well, in October 1854, I was personally introduced to St. John Bosco. I told St. Bosco that I wanted to become a priest. I studied directly under St. Bosco. I worked diligently to always ask questions if I didn't understand something. But around the same time, my health began to fail. My doctor asked me to be sent home to recover. After four days at home, my health condition worsened. My last words were, Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye. Oh, what wonderful things I see. I fell asleep and died within minutes on March 9, 1857. I was 14 years old at the time. I'm really sorry to hear that, Savio. What happened after that? San Bosco was actually powerfully touched by my life. He wrote a biography titled The Life of Dominic Savio. As people started to learn about me, he started calling out for my canonization. I was declared venerable in 1933 by Pope Pius XI. I was beatified in 1950, then canonized in 1954 by Pope Pius XII. I became the patron saint of choir boys, the falsely accused, and juvenile delinquents. What can I do to be more like you, Savio? All you need to do is just pray daily attend masses regularly and confess your sins as often as possible. Spirituality and holiness lie in the simple things you do. Just keep God, 
Jesus and Mary at the center of your lives and everything else will fall rightly in place. Do good to others and live a charitable life. Have fun but be diligent at the same time. It was really great meeting you, Savio. It was great meeting you too. Keep praying for me and pray to me. I too will be praying for you from up above. Before I leave, I would like to leave you with this quote. Nothing seems tiresome or painful when you are working for a master who pays well, who rewards even a cup of cold water given for love of him. Good going. You made a friend in St. Dominic Savio, someone of a similar age, it's easier to relate to and you know how Dominic Savio has lived his life. So once again, it's what you learn that counts. Being of a similar age, you've learned what Savio has done in his life, his daily prayers, his uh, decision to visit the church on a daily basis his dedication to God and his teachings, his promises. If you can follow these little personality traits or these little habits and if you can inculcate them into your own lives, you too can become a saint just like Dominic Savio. So that brings us back to the gates of heaven. So we have an ensemble of saints and they are joined by Dominic Savio who we made a friend with today. So this brings us to who is that saint? Towards the left we have a silhouette of a saint and towards the right we have a clue related to that silhouette. So clapping the silhouette on the left and the clue to the right, if you can figure out who the saint is, type the answer in the comment section below. The clue reads out Documentation of Eucharistic Miracles on the website Died due to leukemia So if you know the saint, go ahead, type the answer right now So, thank you and saint in your life